This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Make a prediction. What will happen after typing a number into the prompt? Look closely at the code below this point. Okay, so what's going to happen? Now, students, keep in mind, once you hit an select an answer, you can hit run, but you cannot change it. Your answer will be submitted to your teacher. If I'm your teacher, that's me. So, when run, set the background. Okay, so we'll paint the background, and it's letting us preview that now. Make a oh, little bunny. Prompt user, enter a number for variable count. Huh. So I guess I'm allowed to enter a number and we're going to give that to the variable count. Maybe so count will be equal to the variable. Yeah. So if I enter five, right, prompt the user for a number. So if I hit five and then I hit check, it looks like prompt the user for a number for variable count. So the number goes into count. So maybe count will equal five. Maybe like in math, when uh, two plus X is equal to three. Well, if two plus X equals three, X would be one. So maybe count will be one or four or whatever enter. When count is answered, ooh, when I put in a number, make that many carrots. Ah, okay. Let's see what we got here. The program will print whatever number is typed. No, it won't. There's carrots. The program, the bunny sprite will say whatever number. No, there's a carrot. The program will make that many new carrot sprites. I think we have a winner. Nothing will happen because count will not, is not a number. Nah, I think it's this one. Let me hit run here. I want four. Check. Ah, four carrots. Cool. Onward.